Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Full Stack Adda. In today's video, we are going to learn how to implement CRUD REST APIs using Spring WebFlex or Spring Reactive. To do that, we need to add below dependencies Spring Boot, Starter, WebFlex. It will add what are all the dependencies required to implement the REST APIs in reactive way. And Spring Boot, Starter, data or to dbc it will add uh, spring data jpa to write the rest apis in reactive approach and the last one r2 dbc driver for oracle database so this is for oracle database if you are working with other databases like mysql or postgresql or mysql server something we need to change this dependency with respect to the database which we are working on and for this uh, spring webplex the default server is netty it runs default on netty server and we need to discuss about uh, this r2dbc uh, driver so to interact with uh, this relational database oracle mysql postgresql and uh, other relational database we use this r2dbc driver so its full form is reactive relational database connectivity and in this video we are not going to discuss uh, for all uh, reactive concepts but i would like to give a small overview of uh, two reactive objects one is flux another one is mono flux object can emit zero element or one two three or more than up to n elements and mono object it can emit zero elements means nothing it can be empty or it can return only one element this difference we need to remember let me show you a demo with with all uh, crud apis i have already created a demo application let me open form.xml here we have the dependencies required uh, to create the REST APIs using Spring Reactive, which we already discussed. Lombok to to avoid the boiler code uh, code, uh, it automatically generates getters and setters. We already discussed DevTools; it will automatically restart our application and actuator and Maven plugin to generate the executable jar. And the next step we need to do is. In the application dot properties here i just change the default port number from 8080 to 1010 and here we need to declare the database properties and normally in uh, non-reactive applications we use uh, spring dot data source uh, properties but for uh, in uh, reactive we use uh, spring dot r2 dbc dot url and here we specify the database url and r2dbc username we specify the username database username and database password and here i'm just setting the active profile dev and here i have logback xml so this this is the logback configuration which we already discussed in the previous sessions you can just refer i will upload this code to my uh, github repository and then we need to discuss how we can create an entity first so here we create the class here we have employee class and top of it we annotated with add table and this add data is from the lombok and if you observe this add table it is not from the jakarta dot uh, library it is from the spring data jpa so this difference we need to observe and here we have the id as a primary key first name last name and this employee class must implement uh, persistable uh, uh, interface and for that one here we need to take one boolean variable new uh, employee and here we have added a transient so that uh, spring data jpa will not uh, look for a relevant column in the database and uh, add json ignore so if you have this annotation it will not return this uh, variable when we are returning response from the controller 
and here is new so it will utilize by the r2dbac library internally to uh, differentiate whether this particular entity is a new object or existing object it will check uh, this property this boolean property whether it is true or false and also primary key value whether it is null if it is a null then it will consider new or overall if this expression returns uh, true this entity considered as a uh, new entity otherwise it considered as a existing entity and this set as new uh, in this we set this boolean variable true and we return this entire entity class so this i will show you in the service implementation and after that uh, we create the repository class and we annotated with the at repository and here here we extend the spring data jpa uh, react to crud repository and uh, here we pass the entity and the primary key data type and then we have the service uh, interface here we have total uh, one two three total five operations save get by id and get all and update employee and delete employee and all these uh, methods return the moon of employee and get all only will return the flux of employees because it it can return more than one element and let me show you its implementation and here we have auto wide the employee repository and in the save employee and here we are calling the uh, save method from the repository interface and here we are passing the employee dot set new so which we implemented in the entity class so this class so that r2dbc library knows okay this is the new entity which we need to set in the which we need to save in the database and get employee by id and for that one we use find by id method by passing the primary key value if there is no matching record with this uh, id well, this switch if empty will get executed and uh, what we are doing here is we are uh, throwing the employee not found exception and uh, we are wrapping it inside mono dot error object so it will uh, send the error object and get all employees for that one we are using the find all and uh, this find all returns the flux of employee objects it will contain uh, more than one element or it may contain uh, zero element also and for update employees so for update also we use the save uh, same save method it will update the existing record if there is no record uh, with this specified id with it will uh, try to save as a, a new employee if we do not want that part and throw some exception you can uh, remove this switch empty part and to delete it we use uh, delete by id by passing the primary key value and we need to call the subscribe otherwise it will not get uh, executed and uh, this one return uh, mono of void it means it will it, it returns nothing and from this class we are just returning um, empty mono of true value so that um, uh, from the controller we can uh, set some custom um, return type and in the controller class here we have the uh, request mapping it is it will be common uh, url prefix for all the endpoints and rest controller annotation and uh, self for j so it will automatically give the logger object and here we have auto wide the employee service class and uh, here we have the first method uh, save employee it, it takes the two parameter two headers one is the user id another one is the correlation id and the employee object and uh, so this correlation id we set from the filters so here we have one more log filter so this filter gets executed for every request uh, before the request reaches the controller so what we do here is um, in every request we get the user id so this user id we need to uh, add to the every log message so that for that purpose here we are reading from the headers and adding to the mdc so that it will be it will be added to the log message 
and here uh, using the u uid we are generating some random um, alphanumeric uh, string and that we are using as a correlation id and that correlation id we are again adding as a new header and passing to the every controller and then here uh, we call that employee save method and we pass the employee object and after returning the response uh, we write, we have written the flat map if everything gets executed successfully control comes within this uh, flat map and here we are setting the status as one and we are also calculating the api process time if you look at the bottom here we are taking the end uh, instance now and calculating the duration between uh, start instance and uh, end instant and taking the milliseconds difference and printing it and then finally we return the uh, successful response if we get any error then that error we catch within the on error resume uh, function and he within within this function uh, we are actually setting this status minus one and error message and we are also log that error message and we return um, mono dot uh, just and uh, response entity internal server error and uh, this our custom body response so this same implementation we do for uh, uh, all other apis uh, all other apis get by employee id and uh, get all employees and uh, update employee and uh, delete employee by id uh, for all these apis the implementation is same now let me run and show you these uh, five apis you can also use this uh, boot dashboard click on it and click on the run icon you can see it is yeah it has started now go to the postman now first let me okay let me first check whether if i have any existing records in that table okay i have one record so first let me show you delete operation so i am passing the primary key one and uh, sending yes we have re received success response and if i go and uh, execute this command again table is empty so this is working fine now let me show you save operation i'm trying to save same object again click on send yeah we have received successful response if i go and check in the sql developer now we have the new record and let me insert one more record to narana one and adding one to the last name as well and send yes let me check the database yes we have the second record got inserted and now we test the all employees click on send yes we have we have received the two employee details and get employee so for this for this one here we send the uh, employee id as a path variable if we click on send then we get that employee specific details and to receive this variable in the controller let me show you here we use the path variable to receive that uh, employee id same for uh, delete uh, operation also we use the same add path variable to receive that uh, employee id so this is all for uh, today's video if you like this video content please like this video and i also upload uh, this code uh, uh, this demo code to my github repository so please uh, star mark uh, this repository and also if you have any doubts please add a comment and please share this video with your friends thank you